So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm currently here at the BY Boot Display here at Rockwell Power Plant Mall. It's about time I will feature this car. I am sitting in here in the all new 2024 BYD Han Electric Vehicle. And for me, in my opinion, this is one of the best BYD cars you can buy out here today. And as well, I'd like to thank everyone at BYD Philippines for making these reviews possible. So stay tuned for the other review uh, coming right up. So with this Han vehicle, as well for me, this is one of the best and cleanest looking electric cars I've ever seen. It's such a good car as well. We were tailing one too last time at the BYD Dolphin Media Dive. It was in black though and that looked really, really good. I mean, make no mistake, this white color is pretty good as well so neat and great of this powering this thing is a 82.4 kilowatt hour battery the front motor produces 180 horsepower and the rear 200 horsepower and you have 315 newton meters of torque each so you have a combined figure of 380 horsepower and 700 and newton meters of torque Whew. And 0 to 100 kilometers per hour time is done in 3.9 seconds. And BYD are so proud of it. There's even a badge of that at the rear. So to the range of this is 521 kilometers. Again, during the BYD Dolphin Media Drive, this car was just playing it so easy and compared to us we were all sweating in that so as well stay tuned for that video too yeah i cannot really help on how this looks especially here on the side profile it's so good to be sitting down inside a sedan again it's a very sleek looking car and the rear looks like more of a european car i really like that as well this car are running on 19 inch wheels running on michelin tires so expect this car to handle and drive pretty pretty well highlight of the entire byd hunt is definitely the interior of this just look at this it feels more premium than usual i mean it got to be honest i feel like i'm riding in a luxury car so here in the door car, you get very nice materials here squeegee material and the tan leather here han no pun intended steering wheel it's a two-tone effect black and tan yet again very nice to the touch there's even a pilot insignia right here just down below it's a almost a flat bottom steering but feels more on the sporty oriented side of things so here are your buttons so on the left side you get your adaptive cruise control functions and on the right side you get your instrument cluster and phone connectivity buttons and and again highlight of all byd vehicles one button here on the left you have this rotating screen which is pretty amazing and as well it benefits too of having a, a vertical screen for making the maps look taller here than usual so put you back to horizontal as well this car is equipped with apple carplay and android auto and here is for your camera system so you get your 2d mode 3d mode and a lot more you can do with this car so apologies for the image because uh, all of the doors were open while i was shooting my b-rolls and the response time here and there is I mean amazing it's top-notch high level one of the better ones I've tried out in this class I just saw here there's a camera system here too like for your DVR functions even on me Wow <laughs> that's the wow <laughs> that's the first time I saw that feature anyway hi BYD your mama sorry again <laughs> here for your instrument cluster like for your tire pressure your range and your kilowatt hour reading and here in the center console another big highlight yet again very nice materials overall here even for your air conditioning vents open this up you get two cup holders a pad here for your phone usb port usb c port cup holders and a lot more uh, controls here in the center console itself like even for your some of your air conditioning uh, controls and for your diving modes too here in the door card and here in the center console uh, there's this like carbon fiber trim effect here it's very nice to look at too I'm mean, again more on the sporty oriented side of things and speaking of too even the seats here mimic that like of sport bucket seats yes there's somewhat a lot of bolstering I mean it's wide but it keeps you in check too hence this is a very crazy car to dive as they say too and yeah that's pretty much here in front of this BYD hand let's check out the rear seats now sitting here at the rear of this BYD hand among one of the more spacious sedan EV sedans rather that I tried out so it's almost like with the uh, Toyota Kami for comparison only feet room and body room I can stretch all the way forward headroom despite the sunroof and sleek design I'm willing to give this a pass I'm 5'4 by the way so I think around 5'8 
will be the maximum height here so with just enough space and if I sit here in the middle too okay the cush bottom cushion is much more comfortable than in the left and right side of the seats however it's still soft nevertheless but my headroom now yeah I just have a hand width of headroom left so I won't be advised for taller people than me to sit here in the middle and again here in the door card you get ambient lighting and then audio sound system all around seats here in the rear overall again it looks like sports seats yet again but still very comfortable to sit in wherever you sit here in the rear you get two map pockets on either side and here behind this uh, right front passenger seat you can adjust this willingly if you want here at the rear. I should have done that earlier <laughs> instead of doing it in the front anyway here in the middle you get two air conditioning vents and touch sensitive climate control functions so you're wondering where do you uh, connect all of your USB and put your cup holders they're right here in the middle so you can make this BYD hand act like a four-seater because you have a digital display right here in the middle with that controls for your aircon your ambient lighting and everything as music seats and opening the sunroof too so pretty interesting uh, setup here by BYD and here for your yeah and here you have say that again cancel much more responsive than the BYD Dolphin, just my observation only. So, going back here, you have two cup holders, then open this up, you have an extra compartment, and here you have a center loading hatch, very similar to that of uh, like European cars. And above here, you have LED lights. So yeah, that's about here with this uh, BYD hand. Let's go for a dive. Finally diving the BYD hand. Probably already one of the best electric cars that I will ever dive. It's very refreshing that I'm driving a BYD or an electric car in general. That's a sedan. So we'll just rotate the screen horizontally so you can see me. And yeah, low rider compared with the BYD tank. I will do a review of that too. Stay tuned for that. I'm gonna upload that too immediately after this. Yeah, so cool to drive a low rider. I can already tell the brakes feel amazing because Again, it's a sedan, it's not an SUV, whatnot. And you have much larger uh, heads-up display compared to the BYD tank. But again, it's not that distracting whatsoever. And like with every BYD, even up to the Dolphin, this has what uh, the best NVH ever. And remember, the range of this is 521 kilometers. So here in this test day, we're at 98 so far and 512 uh, kilometers of range. So, Let's try now a bit of an acceleration test. Remember 3.9 seconds to 0 to 100. Wow, to 0 to 100 kilometers per hour. It's more violent than the tank for obvious reasons because this one's a sleek sedan. So here drive mode. The layout's pretty much the same here and there. So I think we were just in yep normal mode. Okay, eco mode. Uh, I tried out in all the BYDs except for the Atto 3, but I think it will be much more or less the same. Eco will have a slight delay on the throttle, however, it still uh, packs a punch to say. Normal, I think, will be the best mode throughout the uh, in the entire modes because it handles, I mean, the car really well. And of course, sport mode is all out cuckoo mode. Wow, this is nuts. Not much tire noise. Two going into the cabin even though you're running on 19 inch wheels I'm pretty amazed with this yeah even though this is such a long vehicle I'm still surprised it yeah drives like a normal car I must say it's not too brash not too loud of course hence it's a uh, EV and here sport mode oh Jesus yep way way more violent than the tank you have 750 newton meters on the top exactly the same but in a sudden lightweight sedan for this class Holy <laughs> wow, 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 wow. okay okay i don't want to go cuckoo with that right handling wise too it's like a sedan actually it handles like a normal compact sedan that's what i like with this hand so there's not much body roll okay the suspension is just slightly stiff i mean it's still soft nevertheless but it's not too hard not too stiff just the Right amount <laughs> and also like what I said too in the BYD tank all the BYDs even though you have what an electric motor only there's no pumping audio whatsoever so the sound here is all natural unlike some other vehicles out there and then horn test okay that's pretty loud sounds like a Euro too not to my surprise 
and he breaks hopefully I'll test this out on a future landout if BYD allow me to have a landout of this the region is so 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 here you go again <laughs> okay that's enough that's enough <laughs> wow yep I might have a new favorite electric sedan and without a shout this is one of the fastest electric cars I've ever driven the bad chest is all in the back 0 to 100 kilometers per hour 2.9 seconds that's why I think this is the third or even second fastest car I've ever driven in my life but being an EV, the torque is instantaneous and you can somewhat run around a bit because there's no sound whatsoever. That's an advantage too with electric vehicles. And for this BYD hand, I see why it's one of the most popular electric sedans you can buy out there today. And as well, one of the, I think Gala say it, the best electric vehicle I've ever driven. Even though this is just a very, very, very short test drive. Yeah, this thing packs a punch unlike any other <laughs> I'm so amazed with this and for the cost of all of this 3.1 million pesos 3,113,000 pesos to be exact best bank for the buck too uh, I'm in love I'm in love I'm in love I'm in love so for something new for me in my life I think I should consider an electric car we will know soon <laughs> we will know soon but if I ever want to transition to the EV world, this BYD Han is going to be my top choice. So yeah, that concludes my test drive review of this very, uh, very amazing BYD Han. I'm going to call it Hani if ever, if ever buy to buy one of these. Such an amazing car. So again, I'd like to thank BYD Cars Philippines and to uh, Sir of BYD Green. I forgot his name because I'm so... Adrenaline rush at the moment. This is such such a good car. Right, so hope you guys like and subscribe and hopefully soon I will see you with more BYD reviews and with along too with the BYD Auto 3. Bye bye.